Clutch Cargo with his pal Spinner and Paddlefoot in another exciting adventure, Bush Pilot. See, Paddlefoot? This crystal set we built works key. This is what happens when I move around the little tuning wire. It's called a cat's whisker. Listen. We picked up a distress message. Listen, Paddlefoot. Mayday, Mayday, calling Clutch Cargo. Clutch Cargo? Hey, Clutch, come here quick. Mayday, calling Cargo. Why, I know that voice. It's my old friend, Pete Moss, the bush pilot. This is Pete Moss. I am down in the woods. Radio broken. I cannot receive. My position is... He's down in the northern wilds, Clutch. What do we do? We're going up there and find him, Spinner, as soon as we can outfit our plane and get underway. Gee, Clutch, the northern wilds is awful big country. Do you think we'll be able to find Mr. Moss? I didn't get his exact location, but I do know Pete flies supplies into the Big Moose Lake region. There's Outpost Junction now, Spinner, just ahead. There's the general store at the gas dock where all the pilots gas up. Clutch Cargo, as I live and breathe, what brings you up to this neck of the woods? Howdy, Smokey. I'm looking for Pete Moss, the bush pilot. Has he been through here lately? He gassed up here last week. Didn't say where he was heading. You might talk to Pack Rat over there. Maybe he can tell you. Why, yes, Mr. Cargo. I talked to Pete Moss. It was only last week he flew off on that away. Did he mention any places where he intended stopovers? Well, now, he did say he was going to pick up some furs from Trapper Jack. But from there on, he didn't say. Trapper Jack? I know him. How do you get there from here? Well, now, closest way is over Moose Lake, but it's a Mike Risky. Know of a safer route, Mr. Packrat? Well, now, you could head due west, but you gotta travel at 10,000 feet. 10,000 feet? Why 10,000 feet? Because if you go higher, your wings light up. That figures. But why not lower than 10,000 feet? Oh, you can't do that. The mosquitoes will eat you up alive. <coughs> yes. They could at that. This is mosquito season, all right. Come on, Spinner and Paddlefoot, let's go. Well, good luck, boys. But remember, fly at 10,000 feet. Hey, Clutch, I hope we can find Mr. Pete Moss before it's too late. Me too, Spinner. There's a dense overcast for me. I'll say. Maybe it'll be clearer at 10,000 feet. We'd better go up and see, but quick. Here. Visibility zero. We can't go any higher because of icing conditions. But how can we see if there are any mountains ahead? <laughs> <laughs> if Clutch Cargo stays at 10,000 feet like I told him, he'll run smack dab into 12,000 foot Mount Sawtooth. <laughs> and it's just as I planned. <laughs> Company smash into bumps or two. Be sure to tune in for the next exciting episode with Clutch Cargo. Clutch Cargo with his pal Spinner and Paddlefoot in another exciting adventure, Bush Pilot. You remember last time, Spinner and Paddlefoot picked up a distress signal from Pete Moss, a bush pilot lost in the northern wilds. Clutch and company arrive to help locate Pete. They meet Slick Pack Rat. He tells them how to find Pete. But it's a trick. <laughs> if Clutch Cargo stays at 10,000 feet like I told him, he'll run smack dab into 12,000 foot Mount Sawtooth. Clutch! Look! Just ahead! That was our close one. That guy, Packrat, must have known that mountain was there. 
I wonder if he deliberately tried to wreck us. According to the chart, Caribou Lake is just ahead. Good. That's where Pete was supposed to meet Trapper Jack. Oh, oh. Look, Clutch. Smoke coming up at the south end of the lake. Maybe that's our man. We'll land on the lake and take a look. Tighten your seat belts. Here goes. I'd recognize old Trapper anywhere. Hi there, Trapper. Well, let you live and breathe, Clutch Cargo. Sure good to see you, but I was expecting Pete Moss, the bush pilot. That's why we're here, Trapper. We were hoping you could tell us where he is. Why, no, Clutch. I've been waiting for old Pete for three days. He's supposed to bring me supplies and pick up my fur trappings. That's why we're here, Mr. Trapper. We heard his SOS message on our crystal set. He's down in the wild someplace. You don't say. Sure hope nothing happened to good old Pete Moss. Why, there must be 50 trappers and miners dependent on Pete and his plane. Aren't there any other bush pilots working this territory? Oh, sure. There's Slick Pack Rat, but he's a high binder. Why, he nicks us six times the haul and fee old Pete charges. Most of us can't afford him. I see. This is beginning to make sense. Anything happens to Pete, Pack Rat would benefit the most. We'd have to pay his rates or give up. We just gotta find Mr. Pete. Do you know any of his stops before he gets here? Why, yes, Clutch. I do know he stops at Moose Meadow, Trickle Creek, and Moon Lake before he gets to me. Then we'd better check those places. He's down someplace and needs help. Maybe we better send my fur trappings in by that high binder slick Pack Rat, because he's due today. Don't do that, Jack. We'll be back by here on our way out. We'll taxi up to the far end of the lake, turn around and head into the wind. We want to make sure we clear those trees. We should make it from here. He made it over the mountain. I'll get him this time. That's funny. I think I heard another plane. trying to force Clutch and Company down. Will he succeed? Be sure to tune in for the next exciting episode with Clutch Cargo. Clutch Cargo with his pal Spinner and Paddlefoot in another exciting adventure, Bush Pilots. You remember last time, Clutch and Company narrowly escaped hitting Sawtooth Mountain. At Caribou Lake, they meet Trapper Jack. He tells them Pat Black is a crook. They start out by air again to find Pete Moss. There's another plane right on top of us. He's trying to make us crash into those trees. Hold throttle spinner. We'll force him up. Get it, Clutch. He's stalling out. What? He's going to crash into the lake. Oh, no. He's recovering. But it's got to be a rough landing. Get him yet. <laughs> you asked for that one, Slick Pack Rat, and you sure got it by Cracky. <laughs> that was Slick Pack Rat, Clutch. Are we going back? No, Spinner. We'll take care of him later. Right now, we've got to keep searching for Pete Moss. Here's the lake now, Clutch. I'm going to make a pass at treetop level, Spinner. You and Paddlefoot keep a sharp lookout. That could be what we're looking for. We'll set her down and take a better look. What's that? I 
I hear a motor. Hello there. Hey, Clutch, did you hear that? I sure did. Sounded like Pete. Come on, Spinner. Pete! Pete Moss! Boy, am I ever glad to see you fellas. I didn't know if my call for help got through. Spinner and Paddlefoot picked up your SOS on their homemade crystal set. Are you hurt bad, Mr. Pete? No. Nothing but a busted leg. Only bothers me when I stand on it. And with a busted airplane, I really got myself hung up. How'd the crash happen, Pete? It was that sneaky guy, Slick Packrat. He rode me into these pine trees when I was trying to take off. Gosh! He tried to do the same thing to us. Clutch, listen! Paddlefoot hears something! I hear it. It's a plane. That's Packrat's plane. I'd know the sound of his engine anywhere. Come on. We must get back to our plane fast. Huh? Looks like Cargo's plane down there. He must have found Pete Moss. Well, I'd better do something about that. in level flight so the plane will fly itself then now one two his back door is open he's he's three yes. look out slick pack rat trying to wreck clutch's plane with that old oil drum what will happen be sure to tune in for the next exciting episode with clutch cargo with his pal Spinner and Paddlefoot in another exciting adventure, Bush Pilot. You remember last time, Clutch and company had found the Trapper Jack and took off, but were almost forced out of the air by Slick Pack Rat. Find Pete Moss, they did. As they prepared to fly him out... Clutch! He's diving on us! Now, one, two, three... Dave! Look out! <laughs> was close. He tried to smash our plane, Clutch. We better get out of here before he comes back. You're right, Pete. If that guy comes back, I want to meet him in the air. Spinner, go get the gear from Pete's plane. See any sign of him? I can't see him anywhere. He's not behind us. Okay, here we go.
Hello, Smokey. Well, Pete Moss, so they found you, huh? You okay? Just need a little patching up for my plane and myself, and we'll be back in the air. Have you seen anything of that pack rat character? Sure have. He just fueled up and flew out of here going south. He's the one that knocked me down. He tried to get us, too, and he stole Mr. Trapper's furs. Hmm. Thought it seemed funny. He had quite a few furs and some gold dust aboard. Better fuel us up, Smokey. We're going after him. You've got to get him, Clutch. He knows the jig's up. He's running off with all the loot in the territory. Don't worry, Pete. We'll get him. You better be careful, Clutch. He had a machine gun with him. <laughs> a machine gun? What are we going to do, Clutch? I don't know, Spinner. We've got to stop him. Will Clutch still attempt to get Pack Rat, even though he knows Slick has a machine gun? Be sure to tune in for the next exciting episode with Clutch Cargo. In another exciting adventure, Bush Pilot. You remember last time, Slick Pack Rat barely missed hitting Clutch's plane with that oil drop. This didn't stop Clutch. He flew Pete Moss back to the settlement and was determined to get Pack Rat. You better be careful, Clutch. He had a machine gun with him. A machine gun? What are we going to do, Clutch? I don't know, Spinner, but we've got to stop him. He said Mr. Packrat left about 10 minutes ahead of us. We can catch him, Spinner. Our plane is much faster. Are you sure we want to? Remember, he has a machine gun. I know, Spinner. Oh. Keep a sharp lookout. We don't want to be surprised. I see a plane up ahead, Clutch. That's him, all right. That's our Mr. Slick Packrat. We're going to play a little game of nerves. You are not going alongside of him, are you, Clark? Yes, Peter. I want him to know we're here. But he could shoot us down. We'll make a fast rising pass, so it'll be tough for him to hit us and still fly that thing. My gun! Boy, we sure took him by surprise! Look, he's shooting! He didn't hit us. We better get back on his tail now. I missed him, but I'll be ready for him next time. hit us as long as we stay just behind and above him, Spinner. <sighs> but we can sure worry him. What's he doing? He's right on my tail. I gotta lose him. You sure get on his nerves, huh, Clutch? We sure are, Spinner. But we've only started. Him and I can't shoot him. Oh no. Oh no. What'll happen if he pulls up? He won't, Spinner. We could fly without pontoons, but he can't fly without a tail. This is clutch cargo, Pack Rat. Have you had enough? Okay, cargo. No, no don't bump my tail anymore. I've had enough. Throw out the gun and head back to outpost. Okay, Cargo. I'll do what you say. Now turn around and head back. And don't try any funny business. I'll be right on top of you. I'll take care of Pack Rat till the Mounties get here, Clutch. I sure want to thank you, Clutch and Spinner, for all the people in the territory. Our pleasure, Pete. Glad we could help. Flying bush pilot for a few days will be fun, huh, Paddlefoot? <laughs> and so ends the story of Clutch Cargo and his pal Spinner and Paddlefoot and Bush Pilot. Be sure to tune in for the next exciting adventure with Clutch Cargo.